Today is Friday, July 26, 2019. It's 10.59 a.m. I'm calling Macomb Judicial Aid. Let's see if I can get another court appointment attorney. Um, is this um, Judicial Aid? Well, judicial aid and case management share a large office. Are you calling regarding payments or appointments? Uh, I'm not sure, ma'am. I was a, a I was a appointed a court appointed attorney, and I'm having I'm having problems with him. And I just talked to his office, and he's going to be out of the office until eight, uh, August fifth. And in the meantime, because I didn't show up to a court appointed a court a court uh, hearing on. Um, Last Monday, um, I got a warrant out for my arrest, and I told. Who's your, pardon. Who's your judge? Uh, judge Viviano. Okay, I can transfer you to her staff because if you want to request a new attorney, which I think that's where you're going, um, you have to request it to the judge, and then they'll let me know to reappoint. Oh, okay. Um, the judge approves. I got okay, it. So I can transfer you over to her clerk. Okay. Um, why don't you jot this number down just in case she's on the record and she can't answer? Okay. They're in the courtroom. She might not be able to answer. Okay. Um, it's five eight six. Mm -hmm. 469 6959 Yeah. Okay. I'm going to transfer you now. Um, they don't have voicemail, so if you can't get a hold of her, just try again. Um, they do go to lunch from 1230 to 130, just so you're aware. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Hi, ma'am. Um, I'm. I've got a big problem. I'm. I'm. Uh, I've got a court case uh, that's uh, being heard by Judge Viviano, and um, I, I was due in court um, last Monday, uh, this past Monday, and I contacted my attorney on Thursday, telling them that I couldn't make it because I don't have transportation, and um, I. I the the and the I was supposed to be in court on July fifteenth, and I was there, and my my attorney wasn't there, and also the judge hadn't got me scheduled. So I contacted my attorney that day, and uh, they told me that um, there was a screw up, and they would find out what was going on and get back with me. So then I contacted my attorney. No, I'm on yes. Okay, thank you for holding. Oh, that's okay, ma'am. Um, the, the situation is, that I I was supposed to be in court on the fifteenth, and I was there at one thirty, and the judge wasn't didn't have me scheduled, and my attorney wasn't there when I and I called my attorney when I got back, and they said something got screwed up, and uh, they would contact me again. I contacted them on Thursday, last Thursday, and they said, well, you got a court on Monday, this coming Monday, and I said I can't make it, and uh, I don't have transportation, and um, the last time I showed up on the fifteenth, it cost me one hundred and fifty dollars for transportation and nobody no one was there and I told my I told my attorney that I don't have a hundred and fifty dollars to pay for transportation until August 3rd when I get my Social Security check and I told them on third day to Tell the judge that that I can't make it to the, the the court hearing, and then I then I they never contacted the judge, and then when when uh, then I got an email from my attorney stating that there's a warrant out for my arrest, and then I contacted his office today, and he's out until August fifth. So I, I've got a warrant out for my arrest, ma'am. I can't leave my house without fear of of going to jail, and I I'm disabled. I'm living in a house that is, doesn't have running water, and I have no way of getting food or water. 
and um, and it wasn't my fault that that I showed up on the 15th that was my court date and that's when when my attorney told me to show up I was there he wasn't and then then um, then they tell me to, to on Thursday that I got to show up on Monday and then when they told when I told them I couldn't do it then they sent me a paperwork stating that um, there's a warrant out for my arrest so then when I contacted him this morning uh, he's not in and he's not going to be out until he's going to be out until the fifth and in the meantime I've got issues uh, I've got um, the state trooper that that arrested me still has my personal property from two months ago and he was supposed to come to my house to, to drop it off and then I'm sorry. Can you hold on one second? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what is, what is your name? Uh, okay, so what's You need the case number? No, I'm looking up by your first name. Okay, your attorney was here on the 15th. Uh, it, actually, it was it was an attorney that was that was from his office. It was uh, Mr. Dan Kieran that was here. Right, but he was uh, when he wasn't there when I was there, and he well, he was here on the fifteenth. Right, but why wasn't why wasn't there any court? There, he, there wasn't. There was it was it was an issue with district court. District court didn't get the case over to circuit court. Yeah, but that's not. So once they did, yeah, but that's not my problem. That was not my fault. And and I showed up, and it cost me one hundred and fifty dollars. No one contacted me to tell me not to show up, and I did show up. And we didn't know until the fifteenth. Right, but the thing is, is okay. but but by the same token. Okay. Okay. All right. I I I, I allowed you to speak, so let me finish. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then they reset, they said that we got the information from the district court and they scheduled it the next Monday. Right. And I contacted my attorney on Thursday and I sent him a 90 page document to forward to the judge that explains my total situation and uh, including the fact that I don't have transportation, I, I don't have the money, it cost me $150 to get transportation on the 15th when I did show up on time and I, I told my attorney that I don't have the money until August 3rd when I get my social security check and then I got I got a notice that I've got a warrant out for my arrest so now I, I'm disabled ma'am I'm disabled oh, okay I, I heard I heard all that I, I, I allowed you to tell me all of that unfortunately there is nothing that I can do can't you drop the warrant out for my arrest? I can't leave my house. I, can. I can't. I can't. You, I can't leave my did, house, ma'am. You did not. You did not appear on Monday. You can. You can come to the court and turn yourself in. Are they, Monday to Friday are they, we're open. Are they, Thursday uh, to, uh, are, to four thirty. Are you going to arrest me and put me back in jail? So the only thing I can tell you is that we can arraign you on, on the warrant that that has been issued. Uh, you can arraign me on it. I, um, here, here, here's what uh, I when I spoke with uh, my attorney's uh, secretary. He's out until the fifth, and he told me that I. She told me that I could contact your office and ask for another attorney. No, that's not how it goes. Well, that's what she told me. I'm not sure why they what they said to you specifically, or why they they would say that to you. Well, I, I, I don't know. The only thing I can tell you is that you can come in Monday through Friday. I can't come in. We're that, here from 8.30 that, to 4.30. That, that's, the only thing I can tell you. That's, the pro that's the problem. I don't have transportation. I don't have the money to get up there. Isn't there any le okay. isn't there any leniency I can get? That it do no. To Unfortunately, transportation is not an issue to miss your, your um, scheduled court date. 
I, I'm disabled, and I've also got a, a case be, before the Michigan Department of Civil Rights. Uh, based on ADA guidelines, I have the right for transportation okay. for public services, and but that's a separate issue that I'm dealing with with the Department of Civil Rights, which I can prove that too. Is it possible, ma'am, I can get Judge Viviano's email address so I can send? No, no. I need to. I need. I need. She does not. She does not take ex parte communication. You can. You can. You know. Again, you can contact your attorney. You can. You can appear. You know. Here in the Palm County Circuit Court. We are open Monday through Friday from 8:30 to 4:30. We are on the second floor. Okay. If I can't do that, um, they told me that that uh, I should try to contact the judicial aid service. Are you saying that the, the judge wouldn't allow it, another attorney? Because what there's, what my attorney's secretary said that since he's out of the office, if I contact, if I contacted the the right department, I could they could get another attorney to handle my that's, case. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. There's an order that isn't So you would have to go in front of the front of the judge. In order, for her, in order for an order to to be in, in place for a new attorney, and there has to be reasons why. Well, the reasons are I, the reasons are if I don't have money, I don't have I can't get up there, and if, and it wasn't my fault that that um, I showed up for court and spent one hundred and fifty dollars that I shouldn't have wasted for for nothing when I did show up on the fifteenth. I mean, that, that's something that, you know, when, if, when you you come in and you, you want to handle the bench warrant that, that was issued for failure to appear on, on the 22nd, that's something that you can you can bring up to her at that point. Well, I, There's nothing I can do at this moment. Okay. Can you tell me, ma'am? I've told you. I'm supposed to have two different police officers come to my home, one one from the jail to in regards to a video of me getting beaten by a, a jail guard, and I requested a video of that confrontation, and he's supposed to come to my home, and I've also got the state policeman that arrested me that still has my personal property that has promised to come to my home. But those officers... I can't help you with that. You'd, you'd have to talk to your attorney in regards to all of that. But I can't if he's not out until if he's out until the third, the fifth, and I just don't want to get arrested. Do they have the capability of arresting me? You have an attorney's office. I know, and they told me to call, contact you. Okay, I, I'm not sure, you know. I just, I, I need to know. I, they wanted you to turn yourself in. That's the only thing I can help you with, sir. I just need to know that if Again, the, I, ha I have to, I have to direct you to your attorney's office. The only thing I can tell you is what is in the public records, which is the state. They you did not appear on the 22nd. There was an offense from the position. Did it, does, it show, does it show in the personal, in the, the record that I did show up on the 15th? There was no hearing on the 15th. I know. That well, I, I was given, I was told by my attorney to show up on the 15th at 1.30, and I did. And when, and he did, too. So that's not my... That, and, and he did, he did, too. There was an issue with with. Right. That's not my that's not my fault and it shouldn't be my 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 cost. That's the only thing I can tell you, sir. Okay, thanks a lot for your help. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Useless.